Hey, how are you guys doing? This video is sponsored by Candidates. I'll tell you guys as well, guess what? On the 30th, yes, the 30th, these are coming out. Yes, these suckers right here will be launching on the 30th. I do expect them to most likely sell out and then the first like two days. So if you guys want some, googlingsquad.com on the 30th of August. These are coming out. Yes, say Guggen Squad on them. I love them. They smell good. They feel good. If you wear size nine and a half, make sure to get a 10. If you wear size nine, get a nine. Okay, this unit, about to pick it up. It's been here since 2005. That's might be one of the oldest units. Like what I mean by 2005, it's actually been here. The person actually had it since, like, I, think about that. That's, what is that? 17 years ago? 17 years this unit's been here. That's, that's crazy. Hell of a number. Okay, there we go. So just, just bear with me. So the initial clip was filmed just last evening and, and I realized this, this morning when I was trying to like put the video in my head together, it really wasn't going to make any sense unless we kind of fast forward a little bit and then backtrack towards where we were yesterday. Now just, just stay with me. We're here in this empty echoey type warehouse. This is, I just leased this spot. This idea that I'm about to do is either gonna be really awesome and a lot of fun, which that's what I really hope it's gonna be because this kind of projects, they have to be fun for me. It's not always money oriented. I love doing business, but it's gotta be fun. I love doing storage units, absolutely love it. Listen to this, bear with me. I have decided to lease my own spot. As you can see here, we just started putting this all together the other day. Matter of fact, go ahead and roll a piece of that. So it took about two hours to go from that to this. And I'm gonna tell you guys, it, it, beforehand you guys would just literally see me go buy the units and that was literally it. Now it's gonna see, that this is gonna be everything. This is it. I've got some ideas. I have stairs being built in here to have more storage up on there. I'm gonna have a wall that'll be able to put anybody's name, whoever buys stuff that we find in the units, who you guys buy stuff from us that we put up on the wall. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's gonna be a, a, a little bit of a process because now I have to set up an area like this. That's gonna be like the logistics, the shipping, and the picking, the packing, the pulling, like literally everything is going to be set up inside of here. Yes, I kind of went out on a limb, leased a spot. I, I was thinking about it for like two days. I was, in, I was like with the tail end of my honeymoon in Hawaii and I was like, I want to get back into storage units. But the problem with it is, is, is selling the stuff. It's always the selling. Like I've been work, talking with Grimes and he, he still does all that. But the thing is, is like, I want to buy so much shit that it's just, it's just not really feasible to sell. Like I want to have, I want this space. I want to grow out of the space and then get it. Like, I just want to, I want to find the most badass shit in America and, and buy it and sell it and find the coolest shit there is. That's what I want to do. So I, I realized if I did not commit and lease a spot and actually like dive headfirst into it, I would never do it. So now we're here and here's some bits and pieces from, from the first unit. We're $4,950 into the unit number one. This one you're about to see. Bits and pieces of it that is and uh, see you here in a second. All right, so we're gonna take a quick little pause to tell you a little bit about Candidips. Yes, a CBD product that I love because it helps me with my anxiety. A lot of you guys are always saying, Rob, you're so wild. No, I'm so wild in my head. I gotta take stuff like this to keep me calm, keep me chill. And right now you can get this thing right here. You can get five cans of wintergreen. Yes, five cans in a limited flavor for 50% off with Lunkers 50. Yes, use code Lunkers 50 at checkout. It'll be linked at the very top of the description. You're not getting in trouble. This thing's not gonna get you high. It makes you mellow, it makes you chill. If you're out there fishing and you're all wound up or you're doing some crazy activity and you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Kind of like me at all times. Take one of these and it makes you like that. You're just kind of like, all right, we're good. Anxiety, I'm not gonna wanna put my head through a wall. Hey, these are natural. You can chew on these son of a guns. They're not gonna do anything. It's not like taking a gummy or a pill, no THC, nothing like that. You're gonna pop out a drug test, so calm down. You'll be okay. It'll be linked at the top of the description. If you've not tried CBD out, this is the best one to try. Use my code, LUNKERS50. You get an entire log for $25 and a limited offer with a free can that comes in this thing. You're gonna get six cans for 25 bucks. Why wouldn't you wanna try it? Click the link in the top of the description. Go check them out. Hey, I've been using them for over a year. You need to, too. Give them a shot. Thank you so much, candidates, for sponsoring this video. There'll be a link at the very top of the description for everybody who's watching. All right, so I'm, I'm really hoping I don't have anything against this, but I mean, I, I'm a straight man, okay? I'm really hoping that that thing back there is the person's last name because it says, uh, it says gay books on it, and I'm really hoping that it's, I don't open it up and it's like a bunch of dudes with each other. I'll give it to my new camera guy, he might like it, I don't know. 
I don't know. No. <laughs> ah, yes. So I was a little bit concerned that they were going to be light. This is looking good out the gate. McDonald's. Cassettes. Okay, so I'm going to say, I think I'm going to say right now the person's last name must have been cool. And those are probably going to be gay books. If I was, if I was a gambler man. Because these... I'm excited. You know, we were just talking, hey, what, what is a gay book? There's no way, because I mean, you could just say adult film, like that adult is book. adult book. Dude, I found some weird stuff. I found a, like an 80 pound, like bunghole in other area, like a, like an actual doll. I found two of them in my last unit. Girls underwear. Some dude had literally had a safe full of women's underwear. He saved them in manila envelopes and everything. It's so give us the me and him, we're bending against each other. I texted him at like, I don't even know, probably towards the end. It thousands. Was, it was there. thousands <laughs> deep into this fucking unit. And I, I said, hey, are you bidding on anything in Dallas? He said, yeah, it just got too expensive. It was on. So we know we got a cool gay guy. That's awesome. Yeah, that's, right? <laughs> that's what cool. I was telling him. He's a cool gay guy. Cool gay guy. Literally. Did you have any skepticisms? Did I, when I was looking yeah. at it? Um, the weirdest part to me was this. I don't like that that Furby's empty right off the bat. Oh, that Furby's empty? It looks like it. No. Nope. See that? What's weird about that? That handle was originally this way. Oh, they shit, that it case. was. Yeah, I am picking Look at this. Up. See how the, look at that, see the dust? The handle's like this. Ooh, and it's empty. I told you, that was Ooh, a skeptic. Ooh, and it's empty. They can't, because look at it. It looks good. Well, listen. That, that right that, there? That told me right now, I know they peaked in that box. Oh. For sure. Okay, so what, I was worried if this isn't what it says on top, and I'm, it's and I'm it, always okay. Can I also point something else out? Let's let's do this. First. Okay, there's so, new babies in there. No, these they are said really, 2005. They're at, they're at least, and they're not just beanie it's babies. Beanie babies. Dude. I know where they're clean though. Look. I'm not pumped. I'm always pumped about beanie babies. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Listen, we got to take this to another level. <laughs> can I can I tell your viewers what I found in a unit Monday? Yeah. I found a 1954 PSA 8 Jackie Robinson. There's only seven, really? 76 cards in better condition than mine. It's a $10,000 card. I only spent $2,000 on the unit, but I had to drive 1,100 miles to get it. So here we go, real quick. First one. That's good though. This looks like a collector would do this. They put it individual. Oh yeah, it was a, maybe a dealer. Oh, right off the bat, because the collectors are, oh no. Well, yeah, there's a lot of the same, but still, they're Beanie Babies. Well, is it, I was seeing it's some. It's not trash. It's, it's just, not trash. It's, it's beanie baby. I don't care. It's money, right? Yes, I would put a value on this tub of eighty dollars. Oh look, but look, you're getting into some more uh, like more notable stuff. You know, licensed product, Looney Tunes, Scooby Doo. Oh look, more bugs. Okay, Mickey. These were seven bucks original. Yeah, Disney. I get that. I I probably get that one. Uh, maybe. Couple, oh, that, look, these are cool. These came in Happy Meals. These came from McDonald's. Um, I know because I had them as a kid. I was born in 1980. These were 80s, I'm pretty sure. Here, I'll tell you. It's not bad. 1987. I was seven years old. Were you born yet? 87? I was, no. I was born in 89. Yeah, for old. Yeah, hey, dude, yeah. this is a couple hundred bucks. Yeah, Disney, man. That's good. It's all got the tag. So this is, this is, this, this is, is sweetness. All right. This is, this is. say 300 already. Good deal. Good deal. Oh, come on. Uh oh. Is this, yeah, I'm yeah. Is this where they start getting us? I'm joking. Is this where they start getting us, though? No, this oh, is. You're still weird about the gloves. I am very weird. Is this Burberry? It is. Ooh. There we go. We got Burberry. And it's new. That's your. That's... Hey, what size are you? It's a large. Are you a large? How much money on the Burberry? $175 with the tag Bro. on it. Bro. You, is, she, is your woman gonna want that? No. No? <laughs> She's like, not out of We paid $175 for a f***ing scarf. That's nice. Oh, here you go. You're excited. You like the that stuff. Here you go. This has got to be good. Handle with care to Mimi. All right. What did Mimi get? This is making me excited. This is a bunch of sellable shit. It is. It this is, is all sellable yeah, shit. All the tags? Oh, look. Republican stuff. The Democrat, or is it, I mean, political stuff is what I meant. Looney Tunes does good. These are all Beanie Babies right here. Oh, I want to know what's baby. in the gay books. I know you do, buddy. Oh, look at this, buddy. Damn. This is awesome. 
this is stuff I love. This is 90s. Gotta be right. This makes me happy right here. I feel good about it. You did. Good I job. feel good about it. Hey, it is kind of weird that we were bidding against each other, but it's very neat in the same way. I really do. <laughs> this guy literally taught me everything about what, what stores you're just about. I literally, I should have called you. Hey, are you fucking, are you bidding on that Even song? if you just said, hey, lay off. I like this one. I would have done it for you. What are, what are these going for? Uh, I don't know. Probably 12. See, see, that's bucks. the thing. So this is 12, 15, 16 bucks. It doesn't matter, but you add it up all across Big here. Time. It adds up so quick. Box is at least 100 bones for sure. Really? 100, 150 maybe. See, I'm a, I feel good about it. I feel good. We need the boy toys though, and not the kind you're thinking about. I don't want any of them things. Listen, there are a few Beanie Babies that people do want, you know. I'm kind of curious. Let's check the case. Because you know what? Maybe they dealt in coins. Indicative of a method. Beanie nah. babies? Beanie babies. Beanie babies are 100% meth. Now you start seeing computer parts and speakers like attached <laughs> to stuffed animals. Okay, that's right. Okay, that's good. Uh oh. Computer. We're gonna start getting into weird computer stuff. Oh, God. Okay, this is the one I want to know. Is that no? Smiley's the one I want to know about. You get the honors of that. No, I'll wait for a sec. You sure? So why don't you curious what's on what's these? Oh, wait, hold on. This prototype board set. Ooh, a prototype. Dude, that's from 1984, dude. Could have secrets. If you have enough of it, we get the gold off of it. So what was supposed to be in the empty case? I don't know. Oh, oh yeah, I they're... guarantee you that's at least 150 bucks. Yeah, they're, they're in there. These actually sell. Now, let me tell you about these. For real, look these up. These are expensive, and all the little stars. I think they're right here in the Yeah, bag. come in here. These are very, very desired, no joke. These are really? very desired. And the, the vintage ones, and you put a light up in there. So this is actually probably, I bet you this is about 150. Really? Yeah. So we, we're sitting at at least, give me ballpark on each one of these things right now. I'd say total, like, in, in an auction, maybe like 750 to 1,000. So we're around 1,000 bucks. I think we're, I think this is, I, mean, I, feel, be, I feel good about it. You, know, you want me to pull the gay books out? Yeah. Dude, these boxes are great. My God. These are Look the at those sellables. These are the McDonald's. You gotta be happy about it. People will buy that, right? They will. Now, these are cool. This kind of makes me happier. I love bobbleheads. See, this kind of stuff, you know, you're, look at this. You know these are easy, probably 20 to 40 bucks a piece. 2001. He just, pat, or no, his grandson runs the company. Yeah, these look like, is that a, no, this looks like maybe a legitimate older package. This is actually, Yeah, 1975. This is pretty heavy. Is that 90s? 1975. 75. Yep. Now this is exciting. Okay, normal books. So. Radio Shack. Here's our weird fucking item. What? Hair. Yeah. There it is, always. Well, hold on. Oh, I hope this isn't like a, their kids. This thing. might be like, yeah, that molester that I found. Actually. How about this? Yes, I love Disney stuff. Especially that's Fantasia. And they still have oh, the tags look. in Yeah, them. beautiful. And they put tag protectors. This was absolutely cool. Oh, that's cool. I had that as a kid. Straight up. Maybe over 100. Oh, damn. You got the entire thing in there. Yeah, the whole whole family's in there. What's that say? Cocaine? Co oh, Co Coca-Cola. Uh, oh, they were a Coke collector. Oh, yeah. I love Woody. Dude. Y'all, Woody. Hey, do you think he got trapped in here when he was trying to get away? What? Oh, that is killer. That's collectible. That's all Winston cigarette, like, display. Tell you guys right now i know this seems like a bunch like this is we have not came up well we had that one box with some paper in it but everything else sellable. is sellable every everything is sellable and collect oh look spongebob on the box all right we're up on the gay books y'all ready plus the uh, newer how about gay books Ninja Turtles? <laughs> is it i don't know why would they put gay on a book Oh, hold on. Dreams of the women who love sex. Oh, yep. it's going down the... Yep, it's yeah. going... Oh, down that path. There it is. There it is. Rosie O'Donnell. Do you see it? Yeah, this is it. That was Rosie. So it actually wasn't a man. No, it was a woman. It could... Yeah, I said... Yeah. I thought this was a female's unit. But yeah. Oh. Oh, no, it's not. What is that? No, that's two, that's two ladies. Is No, that is not. That's definitely that two ladies. That is definitely a guy. We cannot... We can't show no, that. Is. No, that's a chick. That's two chicks. You can't show him that though. That's a guy. He has two chicks. Here, I'm not gonna show. Hey, camera guy, say it out loud. Dude two or chicks. chicks. That it's, side. It looks like two girls. What? That's two girls. I'm disappointed that I can't show you guys. I get that one. I'm telling you, this is. That looks like the guy in the 1980s movie Splash. Dude on it. 
pussy. No, it's lesbian woman. Oh, Two yeah. women. Hey, you know. I was right. I so was, what would you do with that? You just throw it away? No, I would dump it out, but I'm going to let you go through okay. since you want to go through the gay box. <laughs> Secretly. Yeah. Still, this is still at least 500 bucks. Easy in CDs. Really? Yeah, easy. They sell these. These are Ooh, heavy. is that real? Looks real. Probably 90s repops. Still cool. That's heavier uh, porcelain. This, this is porcelain too. That's yeah. a repop. Anytime are, you see stickers. Actually, these are all repops. So though. It's well, if boxes. not, she's going to have them in here. So we'll save the boxes. That's a good tip for a storage unit buying. Always save the boxes so you go through the end. That's the actual Buzz Lightyear, though. Mm -hmm. So is this the original one? Probably. Was it um, mid-90s or was it 2000s? 2000s. Yeah, I, I would almost guarantee these are probably... Well, judging by the original? pictures, Boy, dude. These are, these are still killer either way. Yeah, 95. These are from 95. Yeah, these are from 95. That's sweet, isn't it? No. Nope. That's cool. Mickey Mouse Mickey and Marks, Bubble Wrap. I think that's from the 50s. Is it really? Yeah. Let me tear it open. I think this is from the 50s, and that if it is that one, this is phenomenal condition. It's probably like an $80 toy. I found a couple of these before. I'll pull his head off. Oh, no. This one's 1976. They, they were... Have I seen Damn, it That's really cool, dude. That's a really cool piece. Dude, I'm telling you right now. I, I cannot wait to tell you guys in the, in the next video that I'm filming tomorrow, you guys will know exactly what's really kind of going on. This is like the very, this is like, like a perfect start. It is. This is like an absolute amazing start. This makes me so f***ing happy. So f***ing happy. Those units though yesterday that got canceled, those ones are good as sh**. Those, those, those damn were good. a lot, but Xena is cool. Yes! That's good. Hey, that is fantastic. That's good right there. See, that's, but that's a good, seriously quality piece of, God. like, retro, like, history, man. That's the Woody. stuff that's back. The whole thing. Look. Woody. Pig. Yeah. Oh, my God, yes. Oh, where are you at? Are you kidding me? The main guy himself is not in here. Dude, there's a dog. This is pretty sick. This is a dog. Here's this weird gorilla thing. Yes! All of the, the entire... Dude, they're all in oh, here. Oh, that's killer right there. Look, that one. They're all in here. Every. I bet you. Here, hold on. Let me get on my phone. I'm sorry. I'm getting excited no, right now. I'm sitting sweet. here looking. I don't know much about toys, but I know when they're inside the packages and they're from 90, dude, 95. There literally could be thousands in this box. Let me look it up real quick. Because I know. Brayden, toys, toys, I know toys. you're the new guy, but you're bringing <laughs> us some luck. I like it. <laughs> Motherfucker. I love it. I love how it says collect them all. And we literally got all of them. This person bought this. <laughs> this Look, look at Woody's eyes. She bought this Woody, uh, uh, Woody for $4.99 at KB Toys on the markdown. Someone bought this on the markdown list back in the day. This, this is, is wow, yeah. This I, I'm, I'm telling you, I sold a loose Woody doll for like 380 bucks. Not even with the packaging, and this stuff is. See, it was crazy. All these boxes, hey, find they, another one. they all like say this. Beanie Babies, but they're not Beanie Babies. Now we're getting into Toy Story, and Toy Story brings me back to my childhood. I watched Toy Story every night before I went to sleep. I, I flipped, I flipped that VCR, like I literally, you know, like the, the VCR, yeah. I'd put it in and let it run until I fell asleep. And then I'd wake up in the morning and the TV would be making zzz, 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 noise. That was me. Look at this. This is, this is from 2000. Look, the ti the, ti the Tigger movie. What's up, the Tiger movie? The Tigger movie. The Happy Meals. Okay, this one, it's Whataburger, but I call it Waterburger. How about this being a video? 2001. That's a big one. You know what? I still bet that's at least a $50 bear, maybe more. It could be a couple hundred. Like this person bought all this stuff and put it in bags and never looked at it. Yeah, you're so what we could do, you guys can do this. This is all this stuff like like, I don't know anything about Beanie Babies, but look at this one. I'm gonna look up the most expensive Beanie Baby sold on here, and we can keep an eye out for it. There's, I mean, with this many Beanie is this the biggest Beanie Baby collection you've ever yeah, seen? Yeah, for sure. For sure. So she has to have... All of them, probably. Oh, like, she has to have... In there. Yeah, for sure. She yeah, had them all. Yeah, she had every version. These are actually kind of cool. She had multiples, though. See? Because some of these have, like, errors on the tags. Like, it's got a different Beanie Baby name, or it was... People are probably watching this video like, dude, what the f are you guys doing? Look, look at all those. It's money, baby. Look it's at all the money. What is that? You're going to have people commenting that these are a billion dollars. But you know what's also great about it? Is all, all the tags on these things yeah, are look. all. Oh, look, fifth generation tags. This is like, yeah, in, this is like a million Rosie O'Donnell. Oh, yeah. Oh, Barbie. I saw Barbie in there too, but there's a million, there's a Rosie O'Donnell right there. Sweet. 
Ah, that's wild. Oh, Rosie. <laughs> they don't even know that. Yeah, they, there's, a, there's a whole... There's so much shit going on. So we bought that storage unit like months and months ago that had a bunch of cards, cards and autographed baseballs and everything in it. And he sent it off to get graded. How many was it? 50 well, I or... signed a con We have 150 cars being graded right now. And they should... Actually, they're already back. And we can go online and we can do an unboxing and find out what the grades are. But we sent Jordans, like Montana, like every, yeah. all the stars. But so anyway, we have a deal where we get 100 free gradings a month now. So... We have a lot of graded cards that are going to be pumping out every month. There'll be at least a hundred, and then we have a sweet deal. Of so tomorrow, the video we film tomorrow, you guys will get like a massive lowdown on what the, what, what's actually really going. On. You want to pull these out real quick? Yeah. Why do you want to do this? Because those ones are easy. Yeah, it's here. so dark in here. Here, I'd probably slide them up. But look at this. Look at this. Oh, here's different than not different as Beanie Babies. Oh man, that is so cool. Is that Raiders? Dude, so, dude, there's so many so freaking... Much. So much. had to have been a store. No way this lady had all this stuff. She couldn't have had all this in her house. I mean, she could. You see, in my house, it's pretty weird. But I have, like, antiques. Not, not cheap toys. Imagine walking this lady's <laughs> bedroom like, man, you got a... Ma'am, you got a collection of Beanie Babies. Um, yeah, baby. That's music. That's pretty... That's a good sign. Oh, Eric Clapton. That's a better sign. E is this the Eagles? Oh, yeah. Led Zeppelin. Look at that. Look, they got the books in there. The CD set, that's pretty sweet. Three Musketeers that's from 1928. Cool. 1928 Three Musketeers? Yeah, we'll check that out for sure. I mean, just right there is 100 bucks. 25. Dude, there is so... I have the world's largest Beanie Baby collection. There's no doubt in my mind now. My job, man. These are all giant Beanie Babies. These bigger ones are Oh, open. yeah, this is more just that whole for CDs. Star Wars. Oh, I really want to know what the year on this is. What the hell is this? Who is Billy? Seen. Whoa. Huh. This right here? Yeah. The Ringling Brothers? The this it? actually feels really good. That quality. Well, I want to figure out this Billy stuff. Weird. That's a 21 year old doll. It says it right on the back. Yeah, I on. bet it's expensive, but it's got a wiener on it. I ain't selling that. You want to look at it? No. Okay. You, hey, you want to take this home to no. your mom? No. Nope. <laughs> what? No. Nope. That's weird. Holy shit. I'm talking. Think how much time she took to bag these beanies, like the bag them. Uh, all together, what would I say? I think you have, from what you've gone through, I think you can squeeze 10 G's out. Okay. Yeah, you gotta find some like, but here, wait, so, and that's saying that that's saying that you don't find a, a special beanie baby. That's saying everything's common. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Just going low, and then you look through these, and then you find the 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 rare ones. You you could go up to twenty, if if they're you know. But all this all this collector stuff. Yeah, but that stuff's killer. Like you got so many little bitty pieces that easily. Let me uh. This, we're like way far from done being this video. I actually had to go pick up my daughter. I just realized the time it was. We'll put some of the stuff back. We'll be back here tomorrow, but we're going to take it up to the warehouse after this, and we're going to have a lot to go through. See, so yeah, it's coming back here. I don't have... That has got to be the quietest, the quietest garage door in the world. But I need to get a table for inside of here. I'm going to be working on this with my buddy Chance. I told Grimes to get another one of these. There's, there's one more of these available, like a couple down. I told him to go lease that one out so we can bounce back and forth because he's got a whole bunch of stuff as well. I need to get a table out here in the middle. This is my idea. Okay, table here in the middle so I can pull stuff off the trailer because we have a trailer coming. That's always going to be used. I pull it off the trailer onto here. <sighs> and I'm not going to be going out and just, I'm not going to buy like units full of clothes and shit. Like we want to buy like the collectibles, all the most bad you can find. That's what I want to do. And I know you can do this and I know any, the average person can do this and make it into a living. So, and I really want to help people. I want to find some jobs for some people like my, my mother-in-law and stuff like that. I want to give them an opportunity to have a, have a jobs that's another reason why i want to do this is uh try to help people out let's see if we can uh see if this thing's either going to be a fucking flop or really badass no in between oh man i forgot to look at this i forgot to show you guys we're also going to give away a brand new 2023 ltz silverado four-wheel drive i mean this thing is fully loaded out i mean even the even hey, look at this this thing on the inside, that right there, that's actually a backup camera. Well, it can be both, but this thing is fully, fully rigged out. We're going to be giving away this here at the end of the year. So thanks to Marit Chevrolet. Yeah, Marit Chevrolet down there in Fort Worth. They hooked us up and uh, they were giving this sucker away. 
Wow, that was a truck. All right, we know that we got some of these. You guys know about all these. So I'm really hoping that when we get everything back here and laid out that we can find this toy. If this is in there, this one in this RC control buggy, if this one's in there, this one was selling for $1,000 sold. Not just people asking for it. This thing was selling for $1,000 on eBay by itself. What a grand. Seriously, listen to this real quick. Look at this, how quiet. This might be the quietest. God, that thing is quiet. So one of my things is, is like, I, I really like doing these and it's not, it's not like money oriented or anything like that. Of course, there's always monetary things behind just about everything in life when it comes to business because without monetary money or monetary reasoning, you're, you're never going to get anywhere like with your business. But I enjoy doing it so much and building stuff. Guggen itself is doing, we're doing great. We're having a great time doing it. We all love each other. We're all this. It's a, it's a great business and it's all because of you guys. But Guggen's doing great. We've been more, ever since we came back and we took back in charge, completely flipped the company around. I'm excited about it. So I love doing this and I just thought anybody in America could do this. Anybody can, you like anybody can do this. And after seeing all the stuff with this whole, every time I get on like Twitter and stuff, people are always chirping about how it's so hard to make money in America. I'm like, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys. You, anybody can literally do any of this. YouTube literally costs nothing to do. Yes, granted this costs something to do, but you can do this inside of your, your garage on a smaller scale out the gate. You really can't think about it. You, anybody can do this. eBay, free, well, to a certain extent, it's free to use, but when you list an item, of course it costs money, if it sells and whatnot, but it doesn't really matter. But this is all, anybody can do this on a smaller scale. So, I don't know, it could be a flop though. I could absolutely just flop it, but I wanna show you guys from the ground level up what it's gonna do, what I wanna do here. I mean, you could, you've seen this. I gotta get another desk. I have one computer here right now, which actually was given to me by my good friend, Hector Rodriguez, so Optic Hex. This was his computer. This is one of them. So, it's just, I don't know. I'm excited to show this thing this entire adventure with you guys as this thing grows and expands and hopefully if it flops and I fail, well, you know, you, if you, you, you will fucking, you need failures in business to, to gauge like what an actual success, that's God honest truth. I've actually never been in an indoor storage facility. You've never been in one? Paris, Texas don't quite have <laughs> an indoor storage facility. The trailer, you told me the trailer was a year trailer. old. He goes, oh, the trailer's a year old. So right. this one is seven or eight years old and the fucking door's hanging off. That's yeah. right, it needs a little wet. Look, it's a little grinder and a welder and it'll be just fine. Oh, fuck. <laughs> hey, you never been in one, I forgot. No. You cut lock, people didn't pay them bills. All right. You see cut lock, a lot of All right. Hey, Brayden, what? forgot the fucking cart. Well, we got the dead gum handy dead dolly. <laughs> you can put like three boxes in there. <laughs> there you go. There's your one dolly reload. One more light one. Yeah, you're underestimating this dolly, huh? Damn, she sounds good. What's up, buddy? No it's hot. <laughs> Let me kick on this fan real quick. What's up, buddy? How you doing? How much? I saw some of the fuck are they doing by I, the well, truck? I, mean, I, <laughs> know, I saw no someone like, that's the Guggen truck. I gotta get a picture of it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna give it away. That's awesome. Yeah, it was good. I love all you guys. You guys have a good day. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Come on. Sucking, you feel it? Oh yeah. Uh, you feel it? Okay. Oh shit. Okay, got everything unloaded. This was a 10 by 10 unit. Uh, we had a Six by 14 trailer, I think is what that is. And that's pretty much what it all fit in. So this is, it all stacked up in this corner. I know this has still got quite a long way to go. And this is over here. Hey, these things look pretty cool, man. I'm excited about these. These are still, these are so nostalgic. These are awesome. So we got a bunch of them. But anyway, I was actually sifting through books. I don't want to, I don't want to sell books. It's not like my, I don't get excited about that. But we had like, I think I had like 10 boxes just absolutely full of books. And I grabbed the ones that I thought would be good. And I ended up having about $300 worth of book. And one of them being this one. This, it's aluminum. And I can't show you the inside of it because adults only but this one was going at the low end was 70 bucks and uh 300 bucks for brand new sealed i think we had about or i think i have around 300 dollars worth of random books of all things like this kind of stuff bicycle posters the art of rock so easy i don't want to keep like 10 stacks of books and i won't be throwing away any bibles so like i'll take i'm gonna get a bin just for bibles 
and then I'll just donate them, but that kind of thing. Yeah, that's pretty much that. Books, not really, not really gonna be my thing. We have uh, tables being built. I'm gonna have them by Monday, so here in a couple days. They're gonna be, I think they're four by eight, so they're gonna have wheels on the bottom, so then I can roll the tables directly to the back of the trailer, put stuff on it, and then go through, and then we'll have another entire racking system is going to be built here i have stairs for here but the the big thing here is going to be the the itemizing in the, in the system i'm going to have some people working here clearly because i'm not going to be able to do all this by myself and i'm going to have ipads so we're going to have ipads so people are going to be able to itemize them check them in and then actually put them on ebay like that like a big i'm going to create a nice little flow a nice little flowage to make this thing actually feasible and work and then i'll be able to tell you guys how much money we're actually making doing this or i'm just blowing my load which i hope i'm not because i mean who wants who doesn't want to own this yes who does not want to own that right there i don't I don't even remember if I did I tell them what I was gonna do in here or no I think I did did I not okay so this desk is gonna move so that one's gonna move around here so it's gonna go right here hopefully I don't know which way the stairs are gonna go that's where everything's gonna be input and then in here in this nice little area oh shit. I know it's really big and it's actually really shit. this is where all the photos are gonna take of every single item every single item photo will be taken right here I think I'm probably gonna need like three three people full time you want a job too bad I already got too many employees. Brayden's the newest one and he's actually fairly decent so he's not gonna go anywhere. But if you guys uh want to stay tuned and watch this thing this project grow because it's got to grow I got so much it. I got I'm gonna do this my, my thing is I'm gonna learn how to do this myself get it down pat get it down perfectly so then when I bring people in to actually show them how to itemize stuff so my idea is like each one of these bins so like say that's that's row so that's gonna be I just gotta go through. so in my mind the way that I think this is gonna work as I as right now at the gate Alpha Bravo Charlie so on then Alpha, 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 Bravo, Alpha, Charlie, okay? Down in theory. And inside here, every item will be itemized inside this bin. As long as I stay organized, I can continue to buy the best units I possibly can. And hopefully we can expand. Hopefully it doesn't fucking flop. So if you guys want to stay tuned for this little adventure, and maybe you guys can learn something on how to make some money inside your own, your own, literally your garage, uh, stay tuned. I do love you guys. I'm out of here.